Hello and welcome, it's Adam from BetterProposals.io here and welcome to another edition of Proposal Breakdown. Now today I'm putting myself on the chopping block and this is, well it's shit. It's so bad. I literally loaded this up about one minute ago and I nearly ran away. It's that bad. So sit tight because this is a good one. Okay. So, all right, so this is pitching for a online shop, but because we're moving away from the web design thing at the time, this is about seven years ago, so cut me some slack. Um, we were bringing in some other people to sort of help us out with various different bits. So I've got sort of a data guy coming in to help with marketing. I've got another person coming in to help with, you know, wording and stuff. So it was assembling a bit of a dream team. and. It is of no surprise that we didn't get this job. It is shocking. Okay, so my introduction reads like this. Introduction. Line break. Click the links on the left to read the different sections of this proposal. Line break. Adam. This is shocking. I can't. Can we actually do this? All right. Fucking hell. All right, next page. Okay, the goal. All right, maybe this isn't terrible. Okay, so I'm talking about the general gist of what they want to try and do, um, how we're going to do it. So we've run an online shop for them before, I think, and this was sort of an upgrade uh, to sort of save them going out of business. Um, so then I'm saying that I'm going to bring in some experts. Okay, so then the team, so instead of actually explaining that these people are good at what they do, giving them some sort of credibility. I've, I mean, I'll give you an example. Tim Co, marketing messaging and discovering the main selling point of the business. This is shit. Okay, time scales. This is fine, bit basic. Total time frame to get up, 12 to 16 weeks. Explain the six steps of getting involved and who's getting involved at what stage. Fine, investment. Initial cost is three and a half grand and includes a bunch of different things, website, products imported and set up, USP created, some social media stuff. Monthly cost includes Shopify fee, maintenance, pay-per-click management, um, Twitter and Facebook management, minimum term, a bit cheeky, aren't I? Um, Well, that's hilarious. Okay, so I've written minimum term, and then I actually haven't actually written what the minimum term is. Fucking hell. Um, okay, payment plan, so it's 50% up front, 50% on completion, and then the monthly starts at the end. Uh, next step, if you agree to go ahead, give me a call. I'll send across the agreement, which you can sign online and get started. If we get sun off in the next seven days, we can guarantee a 1st of January launch date. That's not bad, actually. That's probably the, the highlight of this entire proposal is that one sentence. Giving people some sort of scarcity is a pretty good idea. I mean, we're all pretty aware of scarcity tactics at this point, but, we all, that they, but they do work, right? And they'll continue to work until the psychology of a human changes, which it probably won't anytime soon. Um, but what I think, I mean, especially with the, you know, the service business game, web design game, anything sort of digital, um, anything where there's a deadline or a date or something like that, usually the deadline is really important to them. So in your meetings and things like that, getting an idea of when they want to launch by is a really, really, really important point. So if they say it is absolutely imperative that we're launched by the 1st of January, you can give them a hard deadline to make a decision by, because if they don't make a decision by that date, they're not gonna get launched in time. It can backfire if somebody else has got lesser time scales, but I do think that it's worth putting some sort of scarcity into your proposals. Um, I've done this in various different ways, actually. I've done things like, um, you know, if you agree in a certain amount of time, if you agree in the next sort of you know, by end of play Friday, then I'll throw in all these bonuses. 
But what generally happens with that sometimes is people don't go ahead by that Friday and then they want the bonuses anyway. And it can create this really weird thing where why were you happy to do it if I did it in that time frame, but you're not happy to do it now? It seems weird, unless there's a really hard and fast reason for you actually being able to offer these things, which to be honest, if you're making them up, there really isn't. So this is quite a good one. Using the date and something that's important to them as a reason for them to give you a decision and sign the thing off is actually a really, really good way of going about it. Um, well, this is shit. There's absolutely no question about it. Um, it will come of absolutely no surprise to you that we did not get this job. Um, in fact, I don't even think I ever heard from them again, which is probably not that surprising. Um, yeah, this is terrible. Obviously, don't copy this. This is just purely for entertainment purposes, really. Um, but it does give a good indication as to what can sometimes feel natural to put in a proposal and how absolutely shocking it can come across. So there's no graphics in here. There's no proof. There's, I've included this dream team thing and then I've included nothing that gives any evidence to suggest that that is a team of anything, never mind a dream team. Um, I could keep going on and on about how awful this is, but I, I don't know whether it was a lack of effort. I don't know whether we just didn't want the job. I truly can't remember. It was so long ago. Um, but there's, yeah, pretty bad. Don't copy this. Um, learn from it. Uh, and watch some other episodes, which maybe have got, are a little bit closer to winning the job than, than this was, because this is shocking. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to get your proposal reviewed, then all you need to do is send me your proposal to adam at betterproposals.io and let me know that you want it included in the next episode of Proposal Breakdown, and I'll get it in the queue. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you later.